Keynesian theory of income and employment. Keynesian theory. Keynesian theory of income and employment. Income and uh, employment. Keynesian theory, they are much more giving importance of full employment. How to give the full employment in the country? The how to consider that one? So here they are giving in special situation in a general situation. Two situations are there. In special situation, how can you give the full employment? In general situation, how can you give the full employment? Between 9th to 20th century, they can reject this kind of things of the full employment theory. But, especially the Keynes and Keynes, they especially focus on that one. How to provide the full employment in a particular country, in a organization, in industry. So Keynes, they are written one book. The book name is the generally the general theory of the general theory of the general theory of employment and the interest of money employment and uh, interest on money they can write so when you are going to concentrate employment we can consider demand and the supply so demand and the supply also they depends upon the employment it is a focused so demand is reflected to the supply and the demand also. So because it is a market to producing the output, to take the help of the labors and whatever it is, the Keynes is taking the short run. So what will happen is we can success against the long run, vice versa. So it is possibility only long term. So whatever is providing the full employment. But if you are taking that short term and long term vice versa, what will happen is, will you providing full employment in short term? Will you providing the full employment in long term? It is affected on demand and the supply also. So why it is unemployment? Sometimes we kids they say that one demand aggregated supply and effect of the demand. What do you mean by aggregated total output? Now it means total. The aggregated demand means total demand. The aggregated supply means total supply. It is the effect. Sometimes unemployment also main playing the role in the category. So the, there is a different demands used to donate to level of aggregating demand that are equal to the aggregating the supply. It is the necessary no meaning of significant term of the understanding kins to employment. So that aggregate supply, what's that? Aggregate supply. So what do you mean that aggregate? Generally we are speaking that one, aggregate total supply. Aggregate means total supply. Aggregate total supply. That is the total supply of the commodities and the production by all the enterprises put together in a particular level of employment in a economy. Means we are taking help of and uh, 
we can going to produce that commodities and our productivity you take together to enter funnels and whatever it is we are particular level of employment in a economy so it level of this aggregate and demand and aggregated level of this employment and the entrepreneur to capital along with the produ production and the commodity also so as all the factors of production for their services prevailing the equilibrium incurred the entrepreneur when you are using the factors so including that one normal profits they expect their services it's called as production sometimes we are getting the maximum profit from this when you are doing the factors of productions and we should should out of this the production sometimes we less out of the production sometimes we are getting the use of production so totally the price of supply also main playing the role that is called price aggregating price supply price aggregate supply price asp shortcut then the aggregating supply price and uh, called as aggregating inputs refers to this minimum level income minimum level of income entrepreneur the most received out of applications or out of productions we can show that one after the output of the increasing this level of employment the aggregating this supply price so then what will happen is every increasing level of employment when you are aggregating supply so every level of aggregating income also employment also increasing so everything and uh, we can show the one table so we are consider that one level of employment and uh, lakhs and workers the next is we are consider that one uh, aggregating supply price so what will happen in this we can show that one level of employment level of employ meant next is aggregate supply okay level of employment we can see that one 10 11 12 up to 16 we are going to consider 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we are going to consider level of employment and moreover we are going to consider here also aggregating supply 500 550 600 650 700 750 here 800 okay so these are the level of the aggregating supply function aggregating supply functions we are taking that one